that boy. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Lunda's ore. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. Interesting. Oh! 
More Sather markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little sphere. Should we return them to her? What's it say, brother? Over there. Those are the lost Sather spirits. Friends of Goonhil. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. It's unstable! Get back! We should get moving. the wise. More like Kavasir the inebriated, in truth. I think that's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with Sather magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. 
You blame yourself. And? It will not lessen your pain. Let's return to Gunhil. Unless you'd like to condescend more? had gone differently, but these Saber are at rest now. It is done. Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye. My goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. Something behind. Lunda. Right. Business time. Here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elka's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay.
keep your bits in all the right places. Like there was something else. Freya, how did your brother come to be burned by the Aesir? Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing our magic. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop fields. And we'll just stop there for now. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines.
That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. <laughs> That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. Yeah. <laughs> 
That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. Despite his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father would have. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The blue one's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. Song. Stay alert.
Anything interesting, brother? There must be a way to transfer the fire from one side to the other. arrows won't work on this. Like that work. Well, that did it. Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem.
Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. We found a Hofgoofer out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofgoofer? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Lead the way. moments where you wish you could go back, rewrite your own past, make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half Gufa. Oh, it looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. Ah! Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave! I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this half is free. <laughs> It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. Thank you. 
blocked. Could I reach it from down here? of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's life was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by the My! And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light core in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped Hafgifer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, <laughs> dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. <laughs> Well, there you go. Enemy behind you! Cover! These bastards are about to explode! Changes hands often in Alfheim, or so it appears. Big Veer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. 
I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Hive doesn't like sound, remember? Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. Ugh. <sighs> 